The quick selection tool is one of the tools that you will probably use the most when making selections in Photoshop and it's located here on the tools bar. If you click and hold you will see that it's grouped together with the magic wand. This tool works by selecting an area based on contrast. Once you select this tool you will see that the options bar changes here on the top. By default this first icon is selected, this is the normal selection. And the way you create a selection with this is just by brushing on the image. So if I want to select this white area over here, I can just click and drag. And this tool starts to recognize the change in contrast. And it starts to adapt my selection. Now you can, uh, once you make the first selection, you will see that automatically the plus icon is selected, which means you can add to the selection. You can also see the plus inside the brush itself. And if you want to select another area, you can go ahead and do it. If you want to subtract an area from the selection, actually, let me just do that again. You can see that it selected everything, including the hands. So I can switch to the minus icon and just paint over the hands and it starts to exclude this area from my main selection. A quick tip, if you have the normal or the, or the plus, icon selected and you want to subtract an area from the selection, you can press and hold the Option key on the Mac or the Alt key on Windows and you can see that the plus or the normal icon changes to a minus which means that now I can subtract areas from my selection. So I can just stick with the plus and then when I want to uh, subtract an area from my selection I can press and hold the Option uh, and just subtract that area from, from my selection. Keep in mind that the size of the of the brush affects uh, the sensitivity of the tool. Right now I have it at 100 pixels, I can make it bigger to have affect more areas or I can make it smaller. Right now I'm controlling the size with my toolbox, uh, which is a controller I'm using. Uh, I'm going to put a link on it, I made a review about this recently. But you can also do it from here, if you click this icon you will see this drop down. Uh, arrow you can see you can change the size, the hardness or the spacing of the tool. So it's just like the brush tool. Also you have the sample all layer or auto enhance. If you work on a specific layer and you have other layers underneath and you just want to work on that specific layer you can uncheck this. The auto enhance helps you make more precise selections but when you're working with really big documents with uh, really huge resolutions your selections can be a little slow uh, to calculate. And a quick tip for that is to hide all the rest of the layers and just leave the, the layer that you're working on active and that will help speed up a bit the selections. Also you have two icons, uh, the select and mask is a quick access to the refine masks, um, to the refine mask option so you can click it from here or select subject which I think is a new addition to Photoshop and helps you to select people I think. So that's pretty much all I can say about the quick selection tool.